Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do coffee doodle art. Um, so supplies that you'll need for that are going to be paper, specifically something that's a little heavier than your standard like computer paper. Um, this is a mixed media, but just something that's going to absorb that coffee a little bit better. Obviously your brewed coffee. Um, if you don't have coffee at home, you can always use tea, um, but coffee is ideal. Uh, paper towels, a spoon, an extra cup to create your rings with a container on below, and then I've already got my coffee in there. And then a, a bowl with um, just some extra coffee grounds in it to add some different effects to the paper. Um, a spoon, and then whatever you feel comfortable drawing with. Um, I have this real fine point uh, pen um, that I really like to draw with, so that's what I'm going to be using, but you're welcome to use a pencil or a marker, or you can do colored pencils or crayons um, to add some color to them once they dry. So, But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, and I'm going to do two coffee stains, um, just because, like I said, when I do this, I kind of lay out a whole bunch of sheets and just kind of go through that way. They all dry at the same time, and I have multiple to work on uh, once they dry. So. Um, so for the, the staining portion, this is one of my favorite parts because you kind of, there's not really a right or wrong way to do it. We're just kind of looking for a random splatter of coffee, um, and how you achieve that is totally up to you. So sometimes, like, I'll throw on the paper, and this can get a little messy, so make sure you keep your paper towels close by. Um, and if you end up throwing off the page, that's totally fine. Um, you can even just dribble like that. And I like to take my grounds and kind of just splotch on some some parts. It kind of creates this really cool vein effect. Um, and I can already see these could be like jellyfish maybe. Um, I'm really liking that. Um, and if you get coffee grounds on your paper, that's totally fine. Once you once it dries all the way, you can um, wipe those off. I'm gonna add a few rings to mine, just like that. And really, um, you can change the size of these rings by getting a larger mug. This is just the one that I decided to go with. And it doesn't really take a lot, so you don't have to get a super um, crazy amount of coffee on the bottom there. But just kind of random like that. And then you can even uh, blow your coffee around, so sometimes I do that. To kind of create these smaller little little details. And then that's really about all I'm going to do to this one because I don't want to get too carried away with it. I'm going to move it to the side and if it tends to run, that's alright. It can maybe even make another cool shape. But I'm going to do another one here. Actually, I'm going to go this way with it. And I'm going to take a little less this time and try to toss it on. And then I found that like if you brew your coffee and you know let it sit, the the if you if you've ground it uh, fine enough, your grounds will settle, and it creates this really cool um, effect. I've got some dried ones here, but um, this is what that causes, and it's just some really neat um, definition on the paper. I'm gonna do this again because I really like that. Again, this is a messy part of it, so have fun with it, be creative, be wild, and it's fun to just kind of see what comes. Yeah, so that's really about it. Um, I'm going to set these to the side to dry, um, and because TV magic is a thing, video magic is a thing, you've already seen that I've got some that are already dry. Um, that way we don't have to wait for that. But before you start drawing on them, like I said, you want to make sure that these are completely dry um, all the way through um, because we don't want to, obviously we can't draw on anything wet. So, um, And this took about 15 minutes for me, but depending on you know how thick you lay on your coffee, it might take a little longer. 
Um, but I just wanted to show you a few that I had already done. Um, and this is kind of where the imagination and creativity really come in because you start to brainstorm and see, um, you know, what you see on the page and drawing on it to make it come to life. So, for instance, um, this one here, I don't know, I'm seeing like this circle, I'm thinking like koi fish here, maybe in a pond, and adding some extra detail in, or, in and around. Um, this one here, for me, uh, I'm seeing like a school of sea turtles right here, or even maybe some a bird. Um, but I'm seeing like, here's the seashell, or the shell of the turtle, and they're just kind of swimming through the ocean here. And I'm going to uh, draw on this one that I've already started. For me, this one, I just, I don't know, I saw germs fighting each other. And it kind of is, you know, it fits for what's going on in the world at the moment. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So as you can see, this guy is, he's kind of getting ready to charge. So I'm going to work on this guy right here. So um, it's not anything too too exact um, and it's really just all about your imagination and I'm kind of just outlining him roughly to give him some more shape and give him some some little definition and detail and uh, again we're gonna like that, like he's looking at him, like, bring it on, you know, sort of situation. And then we'll give him a little, a little arm here, just like that. And like all these little guys I intend to turn into little germs fighting each other just have fun with it and create you know whatever you see and I'll show you a few that I've finished but it's not necessarily about uh, you know being exact and being perfect with it like there's some that you know I had the idea in my my head and I needed a little help to execute it so I looked up some images so I can you know um, create something that's a little bit more um, accurate and it helped me get that to the paper. And this guy's got a little sword here. And I've kind of got like just stuff happening everywhere. But this is kind of what I see for this, and I think I'm going to turn this into like a, a real long sword or maybe add some nunchucks in there, but um, I just kind of play with it and just see where my imagination takes me. Um, and I wanted to show you some that I've already finished um, to kind of give you a better idea because I end up filling in the background um, quite a bit with stuff, um, and I'll just bring this a little closer here. Um, so when I created this one, instantly I saw a mushroom right through here. Um, and like I was saying, those coffee grounds that sat overnight created these really cool like effects. So I, in my mind, I just saw a mushroom and then I added a few in the background to make it fit. And then here I saw a big dragonfly, actually. My husband pointed it out and I thought it was a great idea. So. I uh, went off that and then I added his body back here with some wings, um, so that was one of them. And then uh, my favorite one that I've done is going to be this one here. It's kind of like uh, sea creatures just flying through the air with these floating islands. Um, when I created this one, I saw all these little, you know, uh, drips here, um, which you can create by moving your paper around when you, you're creating your stain. But when I saw those, I instantly saw trees and then turned that into floating islands like this. And um, what I was saying earlier is, you know, I've never dr dr uh, drawn a squid before. So I looked up a few images to kind of see 
and uh, reference that so I can translate that onto this paper. Um, same thing with the ray here, but I just had a lot of fun with this one and um, added some extra detail throughout. So, but it's it's crazy to see what you can come up with um, if you just you know sit there and look at the paper and kind of see what can come of it. So um, it's really fun to see what they end up turning into, but um, that's really about it. Um, I did want to throw out there that uh, we would love to see your um, finished uh, drawings. So if you want to tag us at the Center for the Arts on Facebook or Instagram, that would be awesome. I would love to see your guys' creations. Um, I think this is just a totally cool project um, that I've never, I've never done before, and I think that you're going to love it. I hope you love it as much as I do. So um, thanks again for tuning in, and uh, I look forward to seeing all your guys' creations.